presentation is everything, and the way you display something can make it look more important, no matter its monetary value. So Suzanne is back now, and we're going to talk about how to display your sculptural pieces. Yeah. These are sort of, you know, some of us think about it, and some of us don't really put the thought in, but we should. Well, and I also think people don't think about sculptures. I yes. think the number one thing we go to is photography, prints, oil paintings, that kind of thing. We think about the flat things that hang on the wall. Yes. But there's so much fun stuff you can do with the three-dimensional art. And it's actually a trend I'm seeing a lot, displaying sculptures, bringing them into your space and working with them, integrating them with your furniture, etc. Yes. And it just makes a different kind of impact. Make them special and give them a place of their own and That's make right. it intentional. Yeah. Like these pieces here. Aren't these cool? These are so cool. I love the color. It's so fun and vibrant. This is all about the plinth. So the plinth is one of the best ways, one of the most classic ways to display a sculpture. You'll see this in museums a lot. Yes. Usually they're a little bit higher and they might be solid form. This one's actually made out of lucite. But what I like mm -hmm. about the plinth is that it brings the pieces up to eye level. So And you can get them in different heights. You can customize it to the piece so that when you're walking through the space, you get to encounter it in a more intimate way straight on at eye level um, and then because this one's lucite it makes them feel like they're floating so there's kind of this lovely floating effect that happens with them but I, I just like the idea of taking your cue from the galleries because they know yes. how to do it right and why shouldn't you interact with your yeah. art that you is to be careful way. like you can't have don't too much to too drink much, but <laughs> <laughs> it's don't nice to have it in your space at this level though yeah. that's beautiful yeah okay so you've done there's a few pieces here as yeah. well these are these lovely pieces are actually this is actually a canoe I thought it was an axe but it's actually <laughs> I'm like, it's kind of violent but it's actually a canoe um, on a guy's back and what I like about this is think about your tablescaping so mm -hmm. you can work sculptures we see it all the time when you're decorating your table you pull out your coffee table books you pull out your ashtray but you can actually work in a smaller piece and make it relate to your to the books that are on there right. what I liked here was that this piece um, is in this lovely pale wood finish which ties in so nicely with the table from Ikea also in the same finish Beautiful. and then these deep red books just makes it pop and really puts your focus on it so it's a great way to just kind of um, make it seem more important absolutely so yeah. you're giving it significance which yeah. is really nice okay moving down okay here. so I wanted to include a big big piece so I love, I love this piece too it's by the same artist who did the ones that we saw over there mm -hmm. um, it's the idea of something that's larger connecting it to your furniture so you might do something like this instead of a standing lamp then you'd have to think about having light overhead like on the yes. wall in a sconce um, just to sort of make it feel intimate with the chair it frames it it cocoons it it's just like we talked about before it makes it feel cozier Yes. So you have this more intimate, sort of seated experience with your artwork. Nice. Yeah. So people are experiencing it in a whole different way. Yeah. Now speaking of uh, looking at things differently, this yeah. is a beautiful way to display. You've taken it you've taken it and put it on the wall. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it's a beautiful way to display your yeah, sculptures. So, th so these are like little shelf brackets and this is a, again like the plinth very traditional way to display art. We see them with they're called corbels a lot of the time okay. and people use them they put a small piece on top of it. What I love about that shot is that it's just these beautiful ceramic birds en masse and doing them up a wall and suddenly you have an amazing impact just because of the multiples right? Absolutely. And it's super simple so instead of a piece of art like a picture put the put the brackets up. I love that idea even for collectibles. Yeah, just if anyone what who collects idea. anything. Yeah. And this is almost, I wanted to include these because this is like a, a modern take on the same idea. Okay. You can take the boxes, put them on the wall and create a more, gra almost like the wall behind you, create right. a more graphic impact and display each piece on top of it. Now this is a, a little box that I got in Mexico and this is a vintage toy that I got in Mexico. I, like we've done throughout here, you have to think about stacking things to give it more presence, more height. Mm -hmm. This piece is actually something Thing I found in the garbage as I was really? walking home. I was like, oh my god, I love that little China doll. So I picked it up and it's a little bit dusty and her fingers are broken. Right. But <laughs> I was like, you know, you can find art in crazy places. Right. And, and it can be anything as simple as a vase, um, anything that you like. It could even be, weirdly enough, a handbag that you like that you just want to display oh, yeah. and give it significance. When you put it on a pedestal, put it on some kind of form, it's going to feel more important and special. What is cool about this is it's not about the monetary value. That's Right. As I said off the top, it's about making something have presence, have presence. and feel special in and your if space. And you like it. Like, yes. I, I love this gal. I see her every day as I walk up my staircase. Yeah. I'm like, oh, she's so pretty. And the colors are gorgeous. Yeah. I found pleasure in it. So there you go. It's what turns you on, right? That's right. That's yeah. what art is. Yeah. We've got one more picture, and yes. I just think this is brilliant. How about yes. you hang your sculptures? <laughs> yeah, so this isn't this cool? This is actually so a project cool. that my husband.
husband did. He's a he's an architect, and he designed this very modern house. And um, they're wire sculptures that are suspended from the ceiling, oh. and they they literally feel like they're floating. They feel ethereal. They have this very magical effect. So thinking about even overhead, mm -hmm. and we see that a lot with mobiles and and different kinds of sculptures that are are more lightweight that way. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Great ideas.